who you are is defined by what you are willing to struggle for. This is a favorite quote of Mark Manson. The main difference between the other self-help books and Mark Manson's approach is that it is raw and honest. The main crux of the book. Focus on what is essential in your life, improve on it and be ready to fail. But even if you fail, think about how you learn to grow. Hi everyone, I am Bharatan. Every week I share the exciting stories and concepts from the books and the articles I read. In today's video, we are going to see Mark Manson's The Subtle Art of Not Giving a F. All self-help books say how not to fail, but Mark Manson's approach is failure is a part of the loop. So how you are handling it is essential. Once you understand how your brain thinks during the process, then you can manage it wisely. If you are new to my channel, I divide the video into two sections. 1 minute summary and 5 minute summary. Now let us get into the 1 minute summary of this book. You would find a ton of material for changing how your brain thinks. You will know what your brain thinks and why it thinks so. An array of feelings such as anxiety, panic, embarrassment are a part of this loop which is played repeatedly when a negative situation arises. You have a limited amount of focus or as Mark Manson says, limited resources to waste. You would feel much better emotionally if you realized how to use your resources better. Finally, it gives you stop thinking about useless shit and improve yourself. Thanks for watching the one minute summary of this book. Now it's time for a detailed review of the book. Instead of covering the overall concept, I will cover the 11 important life lessons I learned from this book. Lesson 1 Life is not meant to go your way and that's okay. We give importance to too many things in our life. Expect everything to go on every day and are entitled to be happy and comfortable at all times. That's the primary concern for the unhappiness in our life. Instead, think life is not meant to go your way and that's okay. Point number two. Pick your battles wisely. Invest your energy where it matters. Maturity happens when one learns to only give importance to what is truly important to them in life. In life, we spend time on too many things, get drained and forget to enjoy life, which is the ultimate objective of our life. Point number three, doing too much is the same as doing nothing at all. We are defined by what we choose to reject. And if we reject nothing, we essentially have no identity. So what Mark Manson says is, practice the art of saying no. I have made a detailed video on how to say no to your bosses and how to say no to your close friends. Kindly watch the video. I have given the link in the below description. Point number four. Failure is a part of life. Failure is how you learn and grow. If you think about a young child trying to learn to walk, the child will fail, hurt itself hundreds of times. But at no point does the child stop and think, oh, I guess walking is not for me. I'm not good at it. No. Point number five. Fear of failure is your biggest enemy. We can be successful only at something we are willing to fail at. If you are unwilling to fail, then we are unwilling to succeed. Point number six. You can't really find yourself because who you are constantly change and that's a good thing. You can't really find yourself because who you are will constantly change and that's a good thing. This is a very important concept of this book. Mark Manson say, don't find yourself. I say, never know who you are because that keeps you striving and discovering. It forces you to remain humble in your judgments and accept the difference in other. Point number seven, not every problem has to be a negative thing. Don't hope for a life without problem. There is no such thing. Instead, hope for a life full of good problems. Once you are great at one thing, aim to be great at another and another and another. People who become great at something become great because they understand that they are not already great. They are mediocre, they are average and they could be so much better. For example, when I started running, 5 kilometers seemed remarkable. But slowly I started moving from 10 kilometers, 21 kilometers, 42, 50 and 80 kilometers. Now my friends are pushing me further. 
Point number nine. It is essential to stop and be content with what you have once in a while. This is very important point because it talks more into the gratitude. Gratitude for what you have in your life is key to being content. So, as most of the authors suggest, even Mark Manson suggests us to use a gratitude journal because a gratitude journal is one of the critical parts we need to implement in our life. Point number ten. Hard times are a necessary part of life. As I earlier mentioned, who you are is defined by what you are willing to struggle for. And point number eleven. Caring less will only lead to better things. Self improvement is about prioritizing better values and choosing better things to focus on in your life. If you have a time, kindly try to read this book. Alternatively, the audio book is available on Audible.com. You can check out there as well. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and family members. Your likes and subscription will give feedback on me and my work. See you next week with one more exciting topic. Till then, it's goodbye.